According to local media reports in Japan, Sony Bank announced its foray into the stablecoin world, launching a trial to issue its fiat-linked digital currency in collaboration with blockchain, a company settlement. One of the most notable aspects of the pilot program is that the trial will take place on the Polygon blockchain. And Sony Bank's move to explore stablecoin issuance highlights the company's strategic focus on leveraging blockchain technology and digital assets to increase its financial services offerings. And by pegging the stablecoin to traditional fiat currencies such as the Japanese yen, Sony Bank aims to reduce transaction fees and facilitate instant payments and remittances for individuals and businesses. So, uh, Jun Watanabe, President and Representative Director of Sony Network and founder of the Web3 platform, Astar Network, expressed the company's ambitious plans, stating, quote, uh, Sony Bank plans to launch a stablecoin and Sony plans to launch a blockchain with us. Uh, it, is, uh, it is getting ready. Uh, furthermore, Watanabe emphasized the potential of leveraging existing assets and services rather than starting from scratch as the most effective means of bringing billions of users into the Web3 uh, ecosystem. Uh, this latest development uh, aligns with Sony's ongoing efforts to embrace blockchain technology and Web3 applications. Last year, Bitcoinus reported that Sony Network Communications partnered with Japanese Web3 technology company Startail Labs to support the advancement of Startail services and product development. Uh, the partnership focused on developing all-in-one solutions for Web3 development and prioritizing integrating real-world assets into the decentralized ecosystem. And while Polygon has refrained from making detailed statements about the partnership as of this writing, the project's reposting of the collaboration announcement on social media site X, that's formerly Twitter, uh, reaffirms its support for the initiative. As of the latest data from DeFiLama, the Polygon blockchain has established a stablecoin market capitalization of a billion dollar, 511 billion. Over the past week, however, there has been a slight in decline of 1.44% in the market capitalization. On the other hand, Tether's USDT stablecoin continues to dominate the stablecoin market with a commanding 52.16% market share. A token terminal data also reveals additional metrics highlighting Polygon's performance. A fully diluted market capitalization representing the maximum potential value of the tokens in circulation stands at 9.04 billion, reflecting a 13.0% decrease over the past 30 days. Uh, meanwhile, the circulating market capitalization, which considers the active circulation tokens, is valued at $8.93 billion, uh, showing the same 13.0% decrease uh, on the trading front. Polygon's native token, Matic, has seen a positive trend in token trading volume over the past 30 days. The trading volume during this period amounted to $19.66 billion, working a notable increase of 13.1%. Matic is experiencing a lack of bullish momentum, coinciding with the overall market's price correction. The cryptocurrency trades at 38.24 representing a 3.5% price decline in the past 24.5 hours. Uh, notably, Matic stands among the few largest cryptocurrencies that have witnessed year-to-date negative figures with a 22.8% price decline over this period, according to CoinGecko data. Uh,